In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to add steam or smoke into your 3D scenes. So just this afternoon, I threw together this little scene here with this teapot and tea, and I wanted to add some steam to make the tea look like it's really hot. And I could use Blender's smoke simulator and like simulate some smoke coming up, but that would actually be pretty hard and fiddly to do. And it would be kind of hard to give it a super organic shape with all those little swirls and everything. And I'd have to bake it and it would just kind of take a lot longer and be a lot more fiddly. So what I did instead is I used an image of some steam and I stuck that into the scene and it really looks quite good. It's quite photorealistic and it's really easy to do. So that's what I'll be showing you how to do in this video. Also, I've been thinking about possibly making a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create this entire scene. Definitely let me know in the comments if that's something that you're interested in. Hopefully I can make a tutorial on how to create this scene. And real quick, before we start the video, I wanted to thank Sketchfab for sponsoring this video. Sketchfab is a 3D model site where you can preview 3D models in your browser. You can even view them on a phone, tablet, or in AR and VR. They also have a huge 3D model store where you can purchase models and assets. You can even apply to sell your own 3D models on the platform. Check out Sketchfab with the links in the description. So what I did is I found these really awesome steam and smoke images and these are from Pixabay. And why I'm using these from Pixabay is because you can see right here, Pixabay license, free for commercial use, no attribution required. So the images on Pixabay are public domain so I can use them in my projects and I don't have to worry about copyright or licensing or anything like that. And these are really great images and there's actually quite a lot of them so I'm gonna leave a link in the video description to these different images on Pixabay you can just download them they're totally free and also if there's a different stock photo website that you like to use you can definitely go on to some other stock photo website and look for smoke and steam like this there's just one really important thing with all of these images and that is that the background is fully black and then the smoke is gray or white and why that's important is because we're going to tell blender to make the black parts transparent and then make the white parts not transparent. All right, so once you've downloaded your smoke and steam images, you can just hop back over to Blender and let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to turn on a Blender add-on. So let's go to Edit and then let's go to Preferences and then just click on the Add-ons tab right here and then right up here on the search, you can start to search for Images as Planes. And you can see here it is, import images as planes. You can just turn that on. And now that we've turned on the add-on, you can just press Shift A and go down here to image and add the images as planes. Then just locate to wherever you've saved the images. I'm just going to hold down the control key and select all of them because I wanna use all of them. And then also right over here, if you press N to open up this side panel, just make sure that the material setting is set to principled and then all the other default settings should be fine. And then just click on import images as planes. So now we've added them, so let's just scale them up and kind of bring them over here so that we can see them. So you can see that right now they're just these images, and if we render that out, that's what it would look like, and that doesn't look very nice. So we need to go to the Shading tab, so just select one of these and then go to the Shading tab. So if you just drag this out, you can see here is the image, and this is what Blender has already set up. Now what we want to do is we want to make the black parts transparent, and then we want to be able to see the white steam or smoke. So to do this, you can see that there is right now an alpha going into the alpha. Now this image right here, this image actually doesn't have an alpha, so it doesn't really look like anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color and plug the color into the alpha instead. And now you can see what it's doing is it's taking the black values and it's making that transparent and then you can still see the white values. So that's really it. It's super easy. So I'm just going to do that for the other materials. So I'm just going to click on this one bring this over here and then the color is going to go into the alpha and then we're going to do the same thing for this one so just select this one bring this image texture over here and then the color plug that into the alpha so that looks really good and this already looks quite nice now something that you may have noticed is that this smoke right here it's very faint and you can barely see it and then this smoke right here it's like really really strong so there is actually a very easy way to edit these if you want to make them more strong or more faint what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Shift A and I'm gonna search for a color ramp. 
and then I'm going to drop the color ramp in between the alpha. So now if I take this black value and drag it out towards the white, you can see that it starts to disappear more and more. And then if you click on the white value and drag it out, you can see that you can start to see the white value more and more. But when you do this, it kind of just makes everything more contrasty and the parts that you can see, they're not really any more transparent. So how you can fix this is you can click on this white tab right here and then click on the color and then you can just start to turn the color down and you can see when you turn this down the darker it is the more it's going to be faded away so if you want it to be pretty transparent you can see now you can kind of just barely see it um, or if you want it to be really strong you can turn that up and the same thing applies for this one here so again I'm going to press shift a search for a color ramp just drop it in here and then you can drag these if you want to see it less or see it more and then what you can do if you want to make it more transparent is you can take the white value and just pull it down and you can see that now it's more and more transparent the darker it gets so I want to be able to see this one a little bit better so I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit if you pull it up too far you can see it starts to have these little lines here and you may not like that so just be aware of that uh, that may look a little bit weird in the final render so now you can just start to place these around in your scene. So I'm just gonna move this around and rotate it. You can also scale it, do whatever you want. I'm also gonna go into the camera view and kind of see what it looks like from the camera. And I'm gonna kind of rotate this up so that it's pointed slightly at the camera because that just looks a little bit better. So just play around with this, get it to how you like. And then this one right over here, I'm just gonna rotate this one and I'm gonna stick it over this teacup. And then this one right here, I want this one to come out of the teapot. Now you can see on this one, the steam, it kind of comes up on multiple areas and I want it to just come out of this little area here on the teapot. So what I can do is I can tab into edit mode and then I can press control R to add a loop cut. Now, if I scroll my scroll wheel out, I can make a bunch of loop cuts and then just double tap to place that. And then I wanna do that for the other side too. So I can press control R and then scroll with my mouse wheel and just add lots of cuts in there. And then again, double click to place that. So then what you can do is you can press O and that's going to turn on this proportional editing right here. So what I can do now is just select a point kind of in the center there where the steam starts and I can press S to scale and then I can click on X to go on the X axis and just scale it down and you can basically see what's happening. Now it's all coming from one point. So now that I've done that, I can just rotate this and place it in the teapot and that way it looks like it's coming out from one area. And then also what you can do with this is you can select random points and press G to grab and you can scroll your mouse wheel if you want to change how big the proportional editing is and you can just play around with the shape of this. So if you don't like the shape of the smoke, you can just play around with this, change the shape and you can see uh, that looks better. Also, if you want it to be a little more three dimensional, you can kind of pull it around like that. And also I would shade these objects smooth. So I'm just gonna shade them smooth. Now, if you wanna make these look even more three dimensional, you could duplicate them and then rotate them around and then just place them in there. And now you can see it looks a little more three dimensional. Also, if this is looking a little bit repetitive, then you could just mirror this. So how you mirror this object is by pressing S and then I'm gonna click on Y. You're gonna need to either click on X or Y, but for my case, it's Y. And then I want to mirror it over so it'll look a little less repetitive. So I'm gonna type in negative one enter. And now you can see it's basically just flipped it and that just looks a little bit better. So you could do that for the others too if you wanna duplicate them and flip them around. Now there is one problem that might occur that I wanted to go over and show you how to fix it. So if you click right up here to the render properties and go down to the light paths, these settings right here is how many times Blender's going to simulate the light bouncing around. Now the transparency, if you turn this to zero and then you go into rendered view, you can see that there is a problem here. And this is because we told Blender to not use any transparency, it's turned to zero. Now Blender will render faster if this is turned to zero because it doesn't have to calculate as many of the light paths. But in this case, this is a problem because we have transparency. So just make sure that this value is turned up. You can see if I just turn it on once, it's gonna go through once, but you can see there are places where there's multiple transparency going through each other so I'm just gonna have to keep on turning this up until you can't see any of those issues so it looks like I'm gonna have to turn up four times because there are four of these one two three four and so you can see that they're all going through each other so just turn this up to the number that you need if you're having that issue so that's how you add steam or smoke into a scene it's really quick and easy and the results look quite good
And as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm thinking about creating a complete tutorial on creating this entire scene. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely let me know in the comments and hopefully I can make a tutorial where we create this entire scene from start to finish. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful and I will see you in a future tutorial.